Hello, my name is Dr. Jeffrey Klein, the inventor of tumescent lidocaine local anesthesia. Th these are examples of superabsorbent pads that are used for post-liposuction care after tumescent liposuction. They come in various sizes from extra small to extra large and I'll show you how these work. <coughs> Here, this is an example of a medium superabsorbent pad produced by HK Surgical. It is a patented device. It is super, it's a super absorbent. This will hold nearly a liter of fluid uh, before it starts to drip. Uh, the backing is impervious to water and it wraps around the margin here and is sealed so that when fluid is absorbed uh, after liposuction, for example, liposuction of the abdomen with open adits and drainage, uh, a lot of fluid comes out. This will collect that fluid so that the patient uh, can manage the fluid drainage comfortably and conveniently. When the fluid comes out and enters the pad, it will collect here in the superabsorbent gel, but some of it will trickle down by gravity. When it reaches the margin, it will go along the trough, for example here. Fluid will trickle down here. It hits this little trough, it percolates laterally and gets absorbed back into the pad itself. This prevents dripping and draining outside of the pad. So it's very effective. Because uh, tumescent local anesthesia and liposuction create uh, abundant volume of post-liposuction drainage, uh, we would like to collect that as efficiently as possible. Some surgeons will put sutures in their incisions after liposuction to contain the drainage, but that simply prolongs the inflammation uh, of the tissues and, and swelling and edema, and soreness and discomfort. By allowing and encouraging a maximum amount of post-operative drainage, that blood-tinged anesthetic solution is, a, is uh, collected in these pads and the swelling and post-operative uh, edema and soreness dissipate much more quickly. So it's a big advantage to use this, but in order to do this uh, technique with open adits and open drainage, you need to have padding to collect the fluid. Um, we also utilize uh, other, other devices We'll, for example, take this after liposuction, put this on the patient's abdomen, and then apply some tube netting on top of that to hold it in place temporarily. On top of that, we'll apply a spandex uh, compression garment that holds everything in place. Uh, and that, that particular garment, the first one we put on, is a, would be a larger version uh, of a garment, and then on top of that garment, we put a second garment that gives additional compression. And on top of that, uh, an elastic binder that goes around the abdomen. And that combination causes a rapid drainage of all that fluid. Patients wear the garments and the padding for approximately two to three days. We advise that they wear them until all the drainage stops, plus an additional 24 hours and then they no longer require binders or dressings. Uh, that, that is uh, in stark contrast to techniques that keep the uh, drainage from occurring by putting sutures in the wounds, and in those cases, post-operative uh, compression garments are required for a week or two weeks or more. So that's the advantage of using uh, superabsorbent pads after tumescent liposuction. Thanks. If you should like some more academic information about tumescent lidocaine anesthesia, go to tumescent.org. If you'd like information about the surgical devices and tumescent infiltration equipment, go to hksurgical.com. Thanks.